the world is slowly opening up and things are getting back to normal. So if you are wondering if it's a good time to become a real estate agent or even join the business, then tonight we've got all of those answers for you. This is the Private Property Podcast. My name is Dumi. Welcome. So tonight I'm joined by Ute Nkotokwane, who is the director at Mzansi Homes, and she's going to be talking to us about her journey becoming a director at one of South Africa's best real estate agents. She's also going to talk to us about her journey, as well as answering those difficult questions. Ute, good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. Good, good. Thank you so much for taking our time to talk to us tonight and, you know, encouraging someone who's out there who's watching tonight who may want to become a real estate agent but is not sure where to start. So let's jump straight into the conversation and tell us about your journey. How did you become a real estate agent and worked your way all the way up to become the director at Mzansi Homes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it started just like nine years ago. I worked for a well-known agency um i started i didn't really know what to do i thought to myself okay what what can i do what can i do but i realized that my passion was sales so i thought i definitely want to be in something that has to be sale but i want something glamorous and something something good something that will motivate me something that will inspire me but most important something that will add value in people's lives so i joined an estate agency and it was tough. It was very tough um, because you think when you join, you think to yourself, okay, I'm going to earn a lot of money and it's going to be all big bucks all the way and I'm going to just be rolling in it all this time. And then, boom, you realize it's commission-based and it's, it's, it's tough. It's not as good as you think. Mm. Because first of all, um, you start by, you need petrol, number one. To drive clients you need to know what's happening you need to first learn so i started doing research you think to say what is real estate what can i do to to get in this game and to make it in this game so it, i started at a sales pace and then i ended up making it big and then i ended up making a decision to open my own agency after i learned as much as i could and i as i always say the sky is the limit so i let me just try and jump and see if I can swim. So that's how Mzanzi Home was, was born. And it was the best decision I've ever made. Sure. It's 2020 now and, you know, the world has changed. We've seen COVID come and go. Would you still advise somebody who wants to become a, an estate agent to do so? Like with all that you have said, with all the challenges that you have, have encountered, would you still advise somebody to, do, to take that step? Yes, definitely. Um, I always say... Um, a property or a home or a house is a basic, basic human need. Mm. You, you need to have a place to put your head down. You need a place to go when it, it's rainy or when you need to be comfortable. So whatever happens in life, everybody is going to be looking for a property. So whether it be a rental or a property to buy or anything, so it's never going to change. You're always going to be looking for a property. So the best time to start is now. So if you don't start now, when are you going to start? The sun shines for everybody every day. So it's not going to shine for me today and shine for Dumi tomorrow. It shines for everybody every day. So start now. Why not? And mm. see where it goes. We, we're not in a competition. We're not in a, um, in a race or anything like that. So you'll never know until you start. So... I'm happy I started. It's been the best decision, as I've said. So, as I said, the sun shines for everybody. So, I think it's, it's, it's possible for, for a, anybody to start. Even if you don't have a sales background or anything. Yeah. You, you, the nice thing about real estate is that it's a career where you, you learn something new every day. You go in, you don't know anything. You're just one of those people who watches those shows of uh, these home channels and you look at these yeah. estate agents, plenty of estate agents, and you think, oh wow, I can do this. You do your research, you check, you 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 look around and you see, and then you, once you're in, trust me, you're in. You're not you're not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Tell me a little bit more about your journey. Um, 
in starting Zanzi Homes in terms of what are some of those things that you had to do, um, some of those points where you were, you were meeting hurdles and you were like, this I have to get over because moving from a well-known brand and starting your own thing comes with its own peculiar challenges. And, you know, as, as you are talking now, I'm thinking there, there is maybe somebody who's sitting there who's already a, re a real estate agent who believes they're seasoned and wants to also start their own thing. Um, what, would, what advice would you give them and what would you say are, those some, are some of those challenges that you go through? Yo, it's a lot of challenges, hey. But I believe that if you've got a passion for something, you push no matter what, right, hey. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember when I started, I thought to myself, I'm, I'm just going in. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going in. I did a bit of research. I didn't really, I, I knew the business. I said to myself, wow, I'm a good salesperson. Let me just do this. I'll, I'll see where it goes. Then after I jumped in, I realized, oh, wow, what did I get myself into? Because... You're not just a salesperson anymore. You are more than that now. You have to look after other salespeople. You have to go through all the training, train other people what you have learned. And there's so many uh, challenges that you face. You have to now start paying rent. You never even thought of paying rent in the previous company because you just thought, oh, let me just go sell a house and then get the money in the bank account. Hmm. So it's a lot of challenges, um, but it's, it's not something that is impossible. Hmm. It's something that is doable. You 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 see yourself as um, a game changer. Every single day, you see yourself as a game. you know what you, you like. You like you know what I'm going to do this no matter what. I'll change the game no matter what. And you look at your mistakes uh, that you've done previously, and you look at the company's previous mistakes, and you you think this is how I'm going to change. So the main issue was that. Um, you know, they're very big, uh, especially in an area like Rustenburg. There's many other big estate agencies. So a lot of people want to associate themselves with um, big brands. They say, mm -hmm. oh, wow, I want to buy in a big brand. I won't uh, see myself buying in a, a small brand where the person maybe doesn't have experience or anything like that. So you end up want to be, wanting to be the best you can be, giving people the best service that you can give them. Because the main um, uh, thing that makes the real estate market good is that you, you get referrals. If yeah. you give somebody good business, if maybe they say I sell a property to you and um, I give you the best service that I can give you, you're definitely going to say to a friend, oh, well, go to Udayi, she gave me the best service. And mm. I would definitely refer her to anybody. So I think that's the main thing that made me realize that um, being in this game is about giving people good service. So even if you are a remix or whatever, you you can end up giving people the best service and be the best agency. Sure. Um, you know, talk to us a little bit more about how technology is helping you or if there are any systems that you are employing currently in your organization or even as a real estate agent to say, um, to make things better and to make doing business better. I mean, COVID-19 came in and forced us to adopt technology. I mean, right now we are having this call via Zoom and traditionally you would have had to drive all the way to from Rustenburg to Johannesburg for us to have this interview. So what are some of those things that you have taken advantage of in the real, real estate space that have helped you? Um, you know, uh, to me, everybody has an, a smartphone these days. Even if I am doing homework for my son or something and I don't know something, I'll just Google. Or he'll say to me, Mom, let's just Google it, yeah. you know. So everybody's using a smartphone, so we cannot run away from it. Technology is life. Uh, we have to just use technology. So it's helped us uh, It's helped us in a way that we, you can't imagine. So let's say, for instance, today... I take a photo of a property. I take very nice photos uh, and I don't have technology. What am I going to do with those photos? Mm. Am I just going to sit down and go print them and run around and show them to everybody? It's not going to happen. Mm. So um, things like uh, private property, they help us to take the photos that we have um, taken and then we can share them to the world and to say, this is the property that we're selling. And even if it's somebody from Cape Town or somebody from Joburg or anybody, they can see that property and easily say, I'm interested. Because a lot of people buy property for investment purposes as well. Mm. It's not just buying a property to, for your family to stay. People go all, all over the, the, the show looking for properties to invest in. 
So they won't see the properties and they won't be interested if there was no technology. Yeah. You understand? So it's the great, the greatest way to share everything in life. Yeah. No, true. And and it's it's great that we could use it in that way. Um, just talk to us about uh, the the hardest things, rather, that you have seen in, in this space or the things that you would like to change, you know, as an estate agent, somebody who, who started as an estate agent nine years ago and who is now a director of a company. What are some of those things that you would like to change in the, in the industry as a whole? And I know that some of those things you might not be able to change, but, uh, you know, vision is very good. So you, you, you've seen them as challenges or you've seen them as opportunities for, 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 for anybody to change and to actually make the industry better. Um, do you want to... Do you mind taking us through some of those things? Okay. Um, the challenge, the most difficult part about, like today you sell a property and it's, it takes three, four months for the property to register. So that is the main challenge that we as estate agencies face because remember it's a commission-based industry. So you don't just uh, sell a property today and then um, you get the money today. It takes a full three months. So um, because a technology has helped us to market and all those things, I think if we we try and use technology as well to see if we can fast track the process, not just take a full three months, to just try and fast track the process so the property cannot take so long to register. I think that would be a wow factor for us. Yeah. It will make everybody want to join the industry and it will, it will change the game. Yeah, no, definitely. And it's it's us using um, different, there's now prop tech and the beautiful uh, technological advancements that are coming into the space that can help us to do that. Any last words before I let you go? Um, I believe the, the industry is a great, a great career. I would advise anyone to join real estate. Um, it's a fulfilling career. Imagine we see beautiful homes and we, we are not just estate agents. Um, a, not estate agents, property uh, professionals, property practitioners now. Yeah. Um, we are also electricians and plumbers and cleaners and all those things. So you end up learning so much. You end up, it ends up opening a whole, a whole new world to your life. So I'm in love with this um, environment and it's a great environment. And the good thing also about it is that you've got your own flexible time own working hours and you also set your own pay slip or your own commission you decide what you want to end which is also great no definitely thank you so much Othain, for sitting with us um today and just taking through uh, taking us through your journey and inspiring someone out there tonight um to 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 take up that that challenge and become a real estate agent thank you so much and enjoy your evening thank you Jimmy. thanks for having me it's a pleasure thank you we have reached the end of tonight's episode and thank you so much for staying till the end. I hope that if you are sitting at home and you have been considering becoming a real estate agent, you are going to take that plunge and do the needful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until the next time we see you right here on the Private Property Podcast, remember a good dose of property information might just be what you need to get yourself on that A game. Have a good night.